Why are you beating up on Mark all of a sudden? We talked about this. I don't think he's cheating. Not the impression Cullum and Justine gave. <laughs> Who cares what they say? If Justine really was sleeping with Mark, do you think she'd be so open about it? Oh, with their warped excuse for a marriage, nothing would surprise me. Have you seen how happy Mark and Tanya are? What's all this? Oh, nothing. Doesn't sound like nothing. I thought we'd agreed to have no more secrets as far as Tanya was concerned. Please tell me she's not taking any pills. She seems so happy. Uh, no. Jay just had some reservations about Mark, that's all. What kind of reservations? Well, um... I've just seen a couple of things that don't stack up separately, but side by side... Just get to the point. Mark and Justine seemed pretty cosy together yesterday. And today, she and Cullen were discussing Mark and Justine's affair. Oh, for goodness sake, I wouldn't put stock in anything that those two say. They're unusual. Well, you do the math. Serial womanizer meets serial man-eater. There are no guarantees that they've stopped seeing each other just because they said they have. Mark has made some mistakes in the past, but he's smart enough not to make them again. Or is it once a cheater, always a cheater? Is that what you're saying? Look, Yvonne, I wish Mark and Tans well. I really do hope that they're happy together. Fat chance with doubters like you interfering. Okay, Mum, that's enough. Jack gets the message. The rent goes out every fortnight from the flat account and we put 30 bucks a week in extra for bills. Mm, easy. I'll organise an AP from my account. Have either of you two talked to Tanya today? Not really. Something wrong? Just wondering how our new job's going, that's all. Look at the three of you there, so sexy. We should take it easy on us boys. It's hardly fair. Oh. That man is unbelievable. Yeah, him and his pervy wife. I don't want to think about it. There, I've erased them from my mind. How does it all work, you know, between them? Mother? Yvonne, I told you they were swingers and you didn't believe me. Well, they've obviously got some sort of arrangement. Well, from what I can gather, there are no rules, loads of discretion and no consequences. They can see who they want and they get off on it. Well, good luck to them, as long as they keep their filthy paws off me. You've been having a fight with your blankets, Mr Irwin. You're not making this very easy, you know that? Did you ask to use that trolley? It belongs to the nurses. Oh, not yet, but I'll have my own in a few days' time. Oh, your hair really is the most exquisite auburn. Uh, you do have permission to be here, don't you? I don't see any ID. Oh, also a work in progress. Fran Piper. Well, I'm sorry, Fran, but until I see something official, I'm going to have to ask you... Oh, to... you know, what a relief to find someone with professional standards as high as mine. You never can be too careful, can you? Now, I know how busy you are, so I'll be brief. I'm here on the insistence of Dr Warner to offer a bedside grooming service. Oh, I thought we had one. Yes, well, apparently they're not up to scratch, which is why my business is on trial. Wait till you see the difference. I can make... Facial exfoliation, a quick trim and a shave. I'll have you feeling 100% better in no time, won't I, handsome? I'm sorry, uh, you're going to have to drum up business elsewhere. I could go a shave. Right. Well, let's just sort these beard clothes out first, eh? Come to press your nose up against the windows. <laughs> I knew you couldn't help yourself. Living vicariously is highly underrated. Anything interesting? Chemical ectamine, a couple of dodgy polyps, sent them for biopsy, other than that, walk in the park. Big yawn. Still, it's not unheard of to have complications. Oh, really? I mean, you need to keep an eye on the bloods. Electrolyte balance uh, can be an issue. Post-op swelling. <laughs> All of which you already know. Ignore me. You know, when I broke my wrist skiing, I used to fantasise about pulling on surgical grubs. Really? Right about now, I'm guessing that your pulse is racing at the sight of blood. Withdrawals are going to kick in soon. Won't be pretty. You think so, do you? I'm too busy for that. Meetings. Um, it's probably none of my business, but has he been like a bear with a sore head lately? Like? A bit. You want my advice? Sooner you get him back on the shop floor, the better. Okay, Mrs. Beats, and you're right. Thank you. <laughs> um, 
Now, we'll just get you settled and then we'll organise something for you to oh! eat. You really do have beautiful hands, Frank, but I prefer you kept them to yourself. <laughs> um, would you excuse me for a minute? Oh, hello, love. Alice, Frank, Frank, Alice. Uh, we need to talk. What are you doing here? Dancing the Highland Fling. What does it look like? You promised to stay away. Oh, it's business, sweetie. You've got to go where the money is. No, not here. We agreed. You always do this, Mum. Yes, and you always get over it. Come on, sweetie. I'll show you a new outfit with my first week's takings. You're a liar, and I don't want anything from you. The patient is Brunswick, Connie Brunswick. I'm expecting some notes from her GPs, so when they arrive, can you send them up? Yeah, Brunswick, sure. How did the move go? Sorry? The move to Claire's place. She told me that you'd bought it. Beautiful spot up there, isn't it? Control chaos would best describe us at the moment. And your husband? Is he enjoying his new job? Seems to be. Working and living together must be interesting. Not really. We tend to stay in our own patches. Dr Mackay wouldn't have much call to go into surgical or ED. Oh, it's a lovely team in there. Mark, Dr Weston, he's very close to my daughter. They're dating. Yes, it's probably a good thing that Mark's back in ED. It's always distracting having gorgeous young men around, don't you find? I'm terribly wiggled in the department. Mark. Any surgical referrals for us this shift? Uh, nothing yet, but we'll let you know. Great. Oh, and one more thing. Nasty code brown outside Ward 5. Best avoided. <laughs> Cheers for that. <laughs> <laughs>